Everybody. I am the Moy Chicken. Welcome to my stream. And thank you, Eden, for offering Jimmy a sub. Appreciate it. Um, yes. Hello, everyone. Well, happy Tuesday to you. Um, we're going to be playing more uh, Legacy of the Ridger tonight. Uh, I asked earlier earlier today, and because I couldn't decide between this and uh, Captain Toad, um, and this is what came up. So, great. We're going to play it. We're going to start a new... We're going to start a new character tonight, too. I think we're going to play um, the Scholar, Serlant, um, who I think is my favorite of the main characters. Um, I just like his character. I actually played a, uh, a wizard named uh, Serlant in a, in a tabletop RPG once uh, because I just liked this character so much. So, go ahead and get into it. Bleh. Oh, <clears throat> all right. All righty. Let's get started. Um, that's right, there's the same thing. All right, let's play Serlan. Here we go. Meanwhile, this is here. 3980. During an expedition to the Tower of the Giants, Dr. Munch discovers a stone monolith at this tower's summit. Embedded within the, the ancient stone lay a creature of unknown origin. Munch named this monolith the Lego Stone. 3999. Nineteen years have passed since Dr. Munch's discovery. Now, on the eve of the coming millennium, Dr. Munch discovered a new Lego stone in the Dragon God ruins. So that means that uh, Riza is 19, I guess. A Lego stone, huh? <laughs> that of the reptile race, if I am any judge. The carving, the carving on the surface appears to be a creature called a Rudura. All in all, the power of this stone is formidable indeed. Do you feel it too, Serend? Indeed. Particularly around the small jewel set into the carving itself. We still have a lot of work, le work to left to do on the instructions proper. Once translated, they may be able to, able to tell us more about it. This thing's giving me the creeps. <laughs> Are you sure we ought to be taking this back to the lab in Avdol? It's as if... If it's as powerful as you say it is... I had already considered that fact. My old friend Lord Er Eremia has a powerful artifact in his possession. Its power should be able to dampen the Lego Stone's innate energy. Is this stone as old as the last one? Older still. The giant's Lego Stone de I keep wanting to call it a, a Lego Stone. <laughs> Lego Stone dates back only 8,000 years. 
This one, on the other hand, appears to be nearly 12,000 years old. That's a 4,000 year difference. I can do math. <laughs> you think these old myths are true then? The ones about the 4,000 year cycle of creation and destruction? If so, my studies have yet to show conclusive proof for it. As far as any cataclysm is concerned, it's only a matter of time, really. You believe the myths, then? Ha! Who needs ancient mystical beasts? It seems we're the air and water pollution, we're doing a fine job ourselves. No, gentlemen, if our destruction looms, it is by our hands alone. At any rate, go to Remia and ask him to, for the Holy Grail on my behalf. Very well. Take care of you. Remia's Grail is beyond priceless if something were to happen to it. And you, Doctor? This sir transports that stone to Oriab in preparation for shipping. We'll meet up there at the, at the end once all is said and done. Works for me. Oh, let's go, Mr. Serlan. Alright, I got Legan now. Yay! Mjurkin. Mjurkin. Oh, that carving up there looks kind of familiar. That thing? That's the Jade Sigil. As a symbol of predates all known races. You might have remembered it from the Lego stone. The Rudra has the same sigil carved. Carved? I sigil. Sigil carved in that jewel of his. Is the sigil found on all Lego stones? Maybe we should waver the question until we get back. Lord Arimius practically a legend around here. Where do you see his place? Oh, you head to Lord Arimius? Exit the ruins in. Ed West, I know the drill. I've been there before. Alright, cool. Now we got Serlant. Um, so Serlant, as you might expect, is a, a mage. He's like a scholar. And so he's obviously better with magic. We also have Legan, who is... I think he's basically supposed to be like an engineer. Does he have a title? Navigator. He's a navigator. Um, and Serlant is a sorcerer. Spelled incorrectly, I think. Is that how you spell sorcerer? Hmm, I'm not sure. But we have a new list of uh, uh, mantras to go with. And since we have played... Uh, oh, have fun. Enjoy the movie. Thanks for coming out, Eden. Thanks for giving a sub. Appreciate that. Y'all have fun with the movie. Um, yeah, since we already played as uh, as Riza, we know the very useful Anim spell, which is the Revive spell. So, that's very helpful. And what was the other one? What was the uh, Absorb spell? That would be useful to know. It was like Pul Pulmora, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's we got we got life spells, and we also have uh, an earth magic spell, a void damage spell, and two lightning spells. And I'll go ahead and describe Teo and, and uh, Teona as well. See, like that's one of the things that's fun is like carrying over like spells that you're like, oh, I like this spell. I want to use it on my other game too. Uh, that kind of stuff is cool. All right. I'll go ahead and save, I guess. Can y'all hear the game? I actually can't hear the game very well. Let me know if y'all can't hear the game, okay? All right, so we must be on our way to Avdol. Just nearby. I just bonk him on the head with a stick. Legan has, like, a very strange, like action pose where he's like standing on one leg one leg in i suppose also you might notice that the uh it, it is at the beginning of the beginning of the game so everything is still polluted the sky is polluted the land is polluted and the water is polluted look how cool serland is i love serland He's like, well, yeah, I think he is my favorite character in this game. I like him a lot. All right, so this is the mansion, I think. Oh, meanwhile. That happened. There's, there's silly music about. What could this mean? This is Lord Aremia's Manor. You'll find the master upstairs. Thank you. Hello, sir. This is the residence of Lord Aremia. 
home of the Holy Grail. Thanks to the Grail, we have little fear to fear from this area's monsters. Oh, good. Okay. Are you Lord Aremia? Ah, Serland, I expect the doctor sent you. Come for the Grail, have you? Indeed, my lord. Dr. Muk requires it for his research. The terrible energy of this Legos, of the Lego stones, eh? Yes, sir. Oh, wait. Yes, sir. Then there's no way around it. Can't have that old fool risking life and limb in the name of research, eh? We can take it, then. Provided you promise to take good care of it, of course. Much of the Grail's power is still unknown to us. Don't start banging it about on the lark, you hear? Oh, cool. Come. Okay. He looks very important. I like his mustache. Oh, snap! This is happening! Oh! Quick, to the roof! Oh, bye. My lord, are, are you alright? The Grail! They took the Grail! They what? Guards! Guards! Come, damn you, come! Uh-oh. We need that, though. That's important. I needed that. Oh, there they go. Where do they go? What was that noise? What's going on? You! Oh no! They escaped! There they go again. Who were those guys? They just stole the Holy Grail! It's Percival! <laughs> uh, come back! Wasn't it Percival? Wasn't Percival the one that went after the Holy Grail in Arthurian Legend? Meanwhile, dogs! Oh, oh! Rain is happening. Unbelievable! It's actually raining! What are we gonna do now, boss? This heist gone from bad to worse! Come back! Nice! Good job, dogs! Come on, Dune! Do something! They're coming! They're coming! You lousy thieving scumbags! That grail's a public treasure! Return it immediately! Thieving! Treasure hunters! Men of refinement and taste! Right, see you later. Oh hell, they got away! Curious. Is that rain? They dropped the grail during their escape. What the impact? What could possibly have needed the grail for? Don't worry, Mr. Serlin, we'll get him yet. Now we just have to break the news to Lord Aurelia. Very well. I can't believe the grail was stolen. Right under my nose, but no less. The cheek of it, by gods! I, I feel they've escaped from me. Don't worry about it. Those good-for-nothing guards are to blame here. Well, let us hope the doctor's studies will not be hampered by this, eh? Don't worry. We'll inform Dr. Munich immediately. And take steps to recover the grill. Your efforts are appreciated. What of your research, though? I'm sure the doctor will know what to do. Let's go, Mr. Serlant. Only 15 days remain before the cataclysm. It's still raining. Oop, oh, fighting things. Nice. I guess Serlin's pretty quick. I actually thought Legan was the fast character here, but I guess that's not the case. Speed 11, speed 10. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Oh, this song is cool. Hey, Dark Man. This song is cool. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, it's cool. Are there monsters here? It feels like there shouldn't... Oh, no, they are. I was going to say, it feels like there shouldn't be, considering this is like an active uh, research site, but... You never know. Deep breath. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm burned. So, each one of the six main elements carries with it a, uh, a, what do you call it, um, status ailment. And, uh, the, those status ailments can sometimes be caused by just getting hit with that particular element. 
as you might guess, fire is hot. <laughs> And now we're both on fire. Great. So the only real way to put fire out is by dousing yourself with water. Um, so if you get like a low level like Aku spell, you can actually just kind of cast it on yourself to get rid of uh, the burning effect if uh, if you need to. But I forgot to inscribe Aku, so I can't. Nice. Yeah, so I guess when we came here, we didn't clear out the monsters. That seems kind of silly. Look how cool Serlent is. I'm going to keep talking about it because I really like him. Oh, there's a lot now. Okay. Um, I doubt they will be susceptible to an Earth spell. Ah! I'm on fire! Hail na! Hold on! Oh, so how's everybody doing tonight? Are you having a good... Um, what is today? Today's Tuesday. Having a good Tuesday? Oh, well, there he goes. I don't know if this is one of those games where you can have the entire party in the back row or not. There are some games where, like, if you try to put the entire party in the back row, the back row becomes the front row, and they just all become front row characters. Oh, jeez. Okay, well... Bump. Okay, that didn't work out so well. That's right, we learned we learned the better version of the revived spell, Animus. I forgot about that. Oh, these guys. These guys! They're strong! Oh, no. Ah! Oh, gone it. Get out of here, you. They're still alive. Jeez. I kind of thought I'd be done with this fight already. Mora. I mean, they're only doing one damage to Serland at a time, but still. I don't know they'd be dead by now. Great, I didn't even get anything from her. Um, let me let me get um legging back up. With some alarm. Kona! Oof, this battle went terribly. This battle went terribly! Oh, I don't even get that much experience for it, really. Alright, so we got beat up pretty badly there. Um, Lefna. And then Animus, I need to... Make you Animus. There we go. Costs more, but it's a better revive spell. So. Oh, it's a oh, it's a save point. Okay. I like this like dungeon music a lot. Again, can y'all hear the game okay? Because it's really quiet for me. I'll probably be able to hear the soundtrack because this game's soundtrack is pretty good, but. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Uh, can we, how do you run? Yeah, get out of there. There we go. You know what we need? This entire dungeon is fire themed. Let's just give ourselves Akuna. 
Um, I'm also going to move these to another page. Meant to do all this kind of sorting before we started, but I forgot, so there we go. Teon, teon, ah. And then... Aku... And Aku, na. There we go. That should make things a little bit easier to do. Oh, monster. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. If he casts Aku, Aku on himself, it will make him not be on fire. Oh my gosh, it killed him. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't expect it to do so much damage to it. He straight up murdered himself. Jeez. You know what? Okay, I, I, we need to retreat from this dungeon. I think maybe I should go to the town first. I think maybe I was trying to push forward a little bit too much. I gained two levels from that one fight. I think maybe I'm underleveled here. Let's, uh, let's leave real quick. Oy vey, get out of here. Argo Knight! It's here! Tolus! Teo! Stone Throw! Oh, I just shot a laser! That was awesome! Nice! And I got, I got a, a, an alarm. That's the uh, revive item, I think. Very helpful. Dude, I just shot a laser. That's so cool. Alright. Let's go back to the town. Let's see if I can uh, uh, find some equipment or something. <laughs> not feel like I was ready for that. Nai he. Well, didn't get to use it. Oriob, hello. Welcome to the port town of Oriob. Let me stay at the end real quick. Hello. Oh right, the money is ragu. Gotta spend those jars of a uh, tomato sauce very important i had a pretty good dinner tonight i had um it was like a pasta dish from uh, hello fresh hello we've been hard at work you really ought to follow our example well yeah. dr milk discovered the first lego stone it's almost twelve thousand years old neat you order um yeah it was like a it was like a um pasta dish with like sausage and uh sauce and all kinds of stuff. It was real good. Very tasty. Wait, Dr. Milk is here? Oh, I went back to the ruins. I was supposed to come here. Never mind, I went to the wrong place. Oops. Well, Doctor, I hate to be uh, the bearer of bad news, but, uh, uh, the Vimeo's Grail was stolen. Stolen? I found no matter. But surely the energy of the stone... I haven't finished talking yet. Listen, you. The Grail is part of a set of th three relics called the Sealing Receptacles. Each receptacle contains a bound Netherworld spirit, which empowers it. So there are still two others like it? Exactly, exactly. Serlant, you sh your master should know where the other two receptacles are. And I shall confer with him. Be snappy about it. As long as that stone remains unshielded, we're all in great danger. Are we really going all the way to the Thor Volcano to see Solon? Sounds like we'd better hit up my dad for his bed again. Is he still in his laboratory? Perhaps we should talk to him now. Alright, bye. I was supposed to come here. I went to the wrong place anyway. Oops. I really was underleveled for that area, I guess. Oh. 
Um, is there a bar here? A bar might teach me new spells. Hello. Oh, you're looking around. My girlfriend. I was supposed to meet her at this notice board, see? Oh, yeah? Good say. Attention! Ten years have passed since the last Tower of the Valiant tournament. Once again, the contest will be ha held in the town of Danil. As per tradition, this year's winner will become the Knight Captain of Creune. Nice. Have you read the notice board? Just did. The Tower of the Valiant tournament's kicking off on the Western Continent. It's gonna be neato. Oh, here's a bar. Alright, teach me things. A drink. A cocktail. Lay it on me. This drink commemorates the ocean's purification. I call it Blue Akumel. Akumel? Okay. Well, let's try that instead of Aku. Okay. It's a multi-hit attack. Alright, well, let me change this to just regular Aku then again, then. Interesting. Akumel. A blue Akum. Oh, here's a mantra ma ma mistress. I am a mistress of mantras. I adore learning and relearning mantras. Shall I teach you one? The mantra Akulos is useful against plants. Why? Why is a water spell strong as plants? Sure, you can teach me there. At least remember to inscribe it later. You will need it. Right, bye. See you later. See you later. Ooh, stuff. Oh, there'd be treasure here. No? Oh, man. Here I was all excited because I found a secret area and there's nothing there. Nothing there. I wanted treasure. I wanted treasure. Dang it. Yeah, it was a good one. It was the, the, the meal I had tonight was actually one I've had before. Um, and it was better tonight than it was the first time, so I'm happy about that. If you pass through the Saqqara Desert, you'll eventually reach Abdal. Alright, what about you? Yeah, a ship, a ship. What's this? Map of the world. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Abdal's on the east. Okay. Ampros is in the center of the world. Grimmis Mansion, we've been there. Dragon Gun Ruins. Horn Cave is number five. And Thor Volcano is where we're going. Got it. Yeah, I saw that, Jimmy. Full sympathies. I'm sorry to hear your uh, PS2's going. That's a bummer. At least you tried, though. At least you tried to repair it. Maybe, um... Maybe you can find one on the cheap somewhere. Hello. Alright, what do you got? Um... A, wait, a ragu knife? Doesn't that mean it's a money knife? Do you want this money knife? Um... Do we use shields? Um... I'll take one of those, yeah. I'll also get a rune knife. Yes. And I guess I'll get a shield. Sure. You can attempt to repair it for yourself by buying a replacement disc, disc reader. Well, at least you still have options, you know, and you're not completely, uh, uh, dead in the water. That's something. I do hope you can fix it, though. It's never fun to lose a, lose a, a game system. It's always a bummer. Hello. It just rained. Wow. Shame it had to pass through the smog on the way down, though. Yeah, that's weird to me that this world doesn't have rain, right? Have you been to Dr. Castagia's place? There's a lot of weird stuff there. Uh, I can't talk to the dogs anymore. I can only... They just bark at me now. Hello. Our volcano is rife with fire-based monsters. Some of their attacks may inflict the burning condition on you. If that happens, your body turns red and you become drastically weaker. Watch yourself. Yep, we uh, we encountered that one. It wasn't much fun. Yep, getting lit on fire. Not a whole lot of fun. Duh. There was a, wait, did you see the scary person in the corner? Thanks to that smog, the rain falls just as filthy as the rest of the water. Yep, that's a bummer. Pollution's real bad, y'all. Like you, monsters use offensive monsters with elemental attributes. Use your own monsters to reduce the amount of damage they do. 
It'd probably be a good idea to experiment with weaker monsters first. Or not. Alright, who is the scary man? Who are you? It might mean the end of the world, but the root will save us. The stone. The stone will save you? Da 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 da. Anything over here? No. Just, just a little place. Okay, see you later. <laughs> little place. I mean, there's something to be said for that. Like when you get in a video game, when you're designing like a, a town, if you have things that are like unimportant, it makes the things that are important more interesting. You know, it's like oh, it it because it it means that your your persistence in your exploration pays off. You know. Like you don't have to you don't have to have every single effort uh successful, but you know. Iron Hunter. Where else have I been over? I haven't been over here. Hello. We had some shady looking folks creeping around town near town a while ago. That's when the children started disappearing. So Lord Arenia's daughter set off on her own to investigate. I'm worried about the children though. You're a child. It's a bad mouth, say trade to take me away. Oh, good to stay inside then. Item place? Item shop? Hello? Welcome to Castagius. What can I get you today? Ooh, bags. A red bag, a green bag, and a white bag. I'll take the red bag. Lightstone. Oh, a flight as in, like, runaway flight. Whoa, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, oh, the game froze. Oh, the game froze. What happened? What? <laughs> it's still receiving input. Alright. I don't know what happened there. Game froze. I didn't lose much, though. We basically just lost all the people we talked to, so that's unfortunate. But Alright, we gotta go through this again. I'll just skip it. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Super good. You were gonna make a joke about the ragu knife. It's the knife used to mix the tomato sauce. Where All right, yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, so let's see. So we learned Akumel. I'll go ahead and put that in here. Akumel and Akubus. Nope. Aku. There we go. Okay. You can get a spaghetti knife! Amazing spaghetti knife! So useful! Alright, um. We will go shop. Real quick alike. Where's the shop? There's the shop. Go to the shop. Do the things. Hello. Um, I want to buy... I can't afford this. Like, right now, Legan's not wearing any body equipment, unfortunately. One of those, one of those. Buy a room knife. Do -do 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 -do. Hello. Hello, child. This is Dr. Castagia's house. Hey, Dr. Castagia. Oh, Serlin, I see that you brought that deadbeat with you again. When are you gonna stop creeping around ruins and make a, start making a real living, boy? We're not having this discussion again. It's my life. How I choose to live it is my business, not yours. We have need of your boat, Doctor. Very well. Go ahead and take it. It's a good thing you don't mind, ungrateful brat. Your lucky Serlin at least has some manners. We appreciate your assistance, Doctor. All right, cool. So now we can use a boat. That's what we're here for. Hello. The water is extremely dirty, and it's one of life's necessities too. After all, all life comes from the water. All 
right, off we go. Meanwhile, in the Great Forest, we're in this weird boat with like a tent on it, I guess? Oh, meanwhile, these people, they're here! Bye, <laughs> see you later! They're just just little co a little color element there. Ugh, I hope Riza clears up the, the uh, sky soon. This is a, it's a real bummer when things are still polluted like this. Alright, we have arrived at Thor Volcano, where apparently Serlant lives, I guess? It says Master lives here? Oh no! Rocks! Ah! Rocks are here! Um, okay, uh... Akumel. Shoot them. Bang. Akumel. Cool. Did it. Nice. Nice. symbol you said, Jimmy? It looks like a pill. Like a Tylenol or something. Can't tell what I'm looking at there. It's amazing how frequently you go to volcanoes in video games, isn't it? Always going over to volcanoes. Like it's not a big deal. Bang! Akumel! Oh, see you later. <laughs> the bird just beast out. Alright, see you, see you later, man. I guess we need to fight the birds first. Otherwise, they just run away, apparently. Medical herb. Very nice. Bang. Akulus. Got it. Upper right. It just punched me. <laughs> That's really funny. That that rock just uppercutted me. So cool. Once again, thank y'all very much for letting me play this game. I very much enjoyed this game. So hope y'all will enjoy it as well. Oh, oh, Thor's knot looks very dangerous. I just defend. That thing worries me. Oh no, I killed him. <laughs> Everything here is weak to water. I guess that makes sense. It is a volcano. Also, are these platforms made of wood as we walk through the volcano? Are they wooden platforms in lava? That's cool. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh! Wait, I'm, I'm walking on it. Y yeah? Yeah. I can walk on it. Now I can move. Hang on. <laughs> uh, I just started walking on it, though. Is that normal? Getting lots of sweet water, which is very helpful. Oh! Oh, it's one of these! Okay. An anti mantra barrier appears. Oh, yeah? Turn to the bottom chest. Attribute re. Attribute re? Okay, I'll oh, just. Re. No? Right, I'm going to explain this one, because that, that's not a very good hint. Basically what that's saying is, if you take a... Um, if you take one of the elements, and then put R-E-E -E and one more letter on the end of it, it becomes a defense against that. So, like, for example, Aku... Akuri. Defense against water. 
I'm just going to give us that one because it took me a while to figure out how to do it, frankly. I did not understand what they were getting at with with uh, attribute re. It was just it was confusing to me. So, Harem defense against wind. Um, and then Toarim. Defense against lightning. Unfortunately, we don't know, like, well, maybe Prarim? P-R-A? I think Pra was the, uh, Earth spell, right? Magic defense up. All. Well, I'll keep it, but it's not really what I was looking for. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, so sometimes the explanations aren't super clear, but then other... I mean, usually they do a pretty good job with it. Let's try it out, though. Well, it's a lot of MP. Never mind. Never mind. It's just... It just raises your defense against that element. It's exactly what it sounds like, so... down here. Why does my master live in a volcano? Is a question I'm curious about. Oh, there's that bird again. Hey-oh! Four quake! I like how, uh, Serlin's, like, victory pose is to just kind of, like, rub his chin. There's yeah, something fun about that. He just stops and thinks for a moment. Oh, great! How are we supposed to get across this? You're not legging. Master Solon gave me a ward before I left. This magma stone shall keep the fires at bay. Stay close, and all will be well. That little noise you heard, that whoa noise, is to indicate that you can walk across. That's actually how we got to the treasure chest, too. I heard I heard the noise, and I remembered what it did. So. Very good, very good, very good. Cool. There we go. Ah, oh, here's our master. How progresses your research, Serlent? Our discoveries are continuing apace. We have already uncovered a second Lego stone in the Tower of the Giants. Then things are proceeding as I foresaw them. Indeed. Meanwhile... Serlent! Serlent! Where are you? Master, what ails you? A premonition, Serlent. A terrible vision. A vision of what? It was dire. Dire indeed. Master, please, what did you see? Our destruction, Serlent, a power against which we cannot triumph. Lego stones hold the key. The Lego stones. I cannot tell you more save that these stones hold our future. What should we do? We must go into the world and pursue the stones. Only then can we find whether they are our salvation or destruction. I seek out Dr. Muir in the town of Abdol. His studies, his, his studies have already led him to one such stone. And he will likely be looking for others, I imagine. There is no other way. You must join forces with Muir and find the remaining stones. But I shall. I will discover the link between the stones and the future of humanity. What about the receptacle, Mr. Serlent? Remember what we came here for? Of course. Master, we seek the sealing receptacle. Do you know of them? Indeed. As their name implies, the receptacles each bind a powerful spirit within. Said spirit is not of this world, but rather one native to the netherworld. By containing the spirit, the receptacles channel the netherworld's power. Netherworld's power? Indeed, that is what I said, Lagan. I see. 
How about we find the remaining two? The Holy Grail's not an option anymore. Thieves made off with it not too long ago. What? And you apprehend these bird traps, ye? Yeah? I'm afraid not. They got away before we found out who they were. Is not good, yeah? You show no mercy to thief, only sword. Quite. Very well. So, <laughs> guy's name is Sork. <laughs> Sork, you shall accompany Serland. Huh? Me? If they're after the receptacles, we cannot afford to hesitate. The three of you must go and locate the remaining two as soon as possible. Is all right. Three people have it easier than two, yeah? With your might on our side, we cannot help but prevail. Yeah. Where are the other two receptacles, then? The nearest is located in Horn Cave beyond the Great Forest. However, it can only be reached at night when the tide comes in. All right, then. Come on, Mr. Serlin. Thanks, Gramps. G Gramps! All right, we got Sork now. The Sork is the frontline fighter for this particular group. So the Legend's also going to go in the back. We have two back rear rear guard characters and one frontline fighter. And Sork is basically just a... He's just a fighter. There's not much to... There's not much else to him. He's got very low MP and stuff. And he's just... He's just a hitty-hitty kind of guy. So... What about if I go in these doors, though? Ooh, it's blue. It appears to be sealed. Okay, so not that one. What about over here? Oh, do you know anything else? Oh, nice. Yay! Go ahead and save. Yep. Yep. Cool. Okay. Onward. What about this one? This one is red. I also can't do anything in here. Alright, see you later. Not important. Here we go. The magma stove. Very helpful. use magic as much anymore. Which is good, because magic is about MP is a very valuable resource in this game. That's why getting a uh, element or, or MP efficient spells is so helpful. You really don't get that much MP in this game. Even for characters that are supposed to use a lot of spells. Now currently looking for treasure. Is there treasure here? Ah, there is treasure here. Hooray for treasure. Oh, I have too much sweet water. Huh. Okay. I, f I didn't remember that there were uh, uh, upper item limits. Whew, Serland is quick with that sword, or that knife. He's just like, shoot! Nice. Sork's victory pose is just turn around and blink. What's this? A secret. Ooh, a blue. Oh, I can't open. Okay, so. You see how this is blue? What that means is that it is sealed by one of the other two jades in the game. So, Serlant has no jade right now, right? Yeah, he doesn't have a jade. Eventually, he will have a jade. Um, but we have to come back here as either Scion or Riza to open that. So, it is worthless to me right now. I will come back later. It's like in Chrono Trigger when you get the... Uh, the pendant charge, and you can, like, open those sealed, uh, uh, treasure chests. Same sort of thing. It's worth it to come back and get them, but I cannot do so yet. Unfortunate. So, Jimmy, you're, you said that you, uh, you're still playing FF7, huh? And I think you said that you were in, uh, the Shinra building. Oh, wait, were you playing that on that PS2 that now doesn't work? Uh, I hope that's not the case. 
Sorry if it is. That's a bummer. Well, sorry I brought it up then. <laughs> oh, you've been you've been playing FS7 on the Xbox One? Oh. Well, how's it going? Still enjoying it? I think you said uh, the other day you were in the uh, Shinra Tower. Yeah. It is a fun game. I think one of the things that's most fun about FF7 is playing around with uh, Materia. Like, I've been playing, um... I've been playing, uh... What's that game called? Um, Castlevania uh, Circle of the Moon. Which has the ability, like, in that game you can, like, mix and match these, like, elemental cards to get different effects. And when I was playing with it, it kept reminding me of, uh playing around with materia um i just re i really love the materia system for like how much fun it is to f like fiddle around with all right that's where i need to get to is that little spire up there but i gotta figure out how to get there I think one of the things that one of the only things I would say that's a problem with FF7, especially early on, is that they do kind of take a while to introduce you to like really fun um, materia combinations. You know, like they give you like all materia basically right at the beginning, but that's like the only blue materia you get for a while, which I don't think works out so great. I think they should have like introduced more colors of uh, materia a bit faster, but they let you start playing around with um, uh, command materia pretty quick, which is cool. I like that. It's one of the reasons I like the, uh, the sense materia is because you get it so early and I'm like, ooh, it's a new ability! I'm gonna, I'm gonna sense everything! I get the last time I it. I know I didn't beat it the last time I played it. I think I got to... Did I get to disc 2? I might have gotten to disc 2. Then I stopped. I don't know. It was a fun game, though. I gotta get back to playing, um... Uh... FF7 Rebirth. Um... Or no, I gotta play, I gotta play Remake so that I can so that I can then play Rebirth. Because like I played through most of Remake on uh, PS4 originally. And I very much enjoyed it. But I got to the very end of it. And um a friend of mine told me that the ending wasn't good. And that caused me to like kind of keep delaying and delaying and delaying and be like, I don't wanna I don't wanna beat it because I liked it so much. And so I never beat it. And then I got a PS5 with, like, the the texture upgrade thingy. Um, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just play through it on my PS5, and I just never have gotten around to it. And now here, Rebirth has come out, and I still haven't, still haven't beaten the first one, so... I don't know, I gotta get on that. It's just, oh, it's such a commitment. It's a, it's a long game. <laughs> oh, it's daytime again. But it is a fun game. I did very much like it. It was one of the better, um, I think FF7 Remake reestablished my faith in Square Enix for a while. So there was a long period of time where I, I kind of felt like Square Enix's glory days were behind them. And, you know, everything they came out with up to that point was just kind of like trash, <laughs> at least for me, at least based on my, my opinions. But no, Remake was good, at least as far as I got through. We're back! We're back, and we've got Sork with us now! Brenna said I need to play the original number, play the remakes. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I think that one, like, one of the things I really liked about 
the remakes is that um, they were very faithful to the original. Oh, I found a journal entitled Summer Memories, Age 5. Yes. My father wa wanted to misuse mantras by selling them for 980 ragu each. What is this? Oh, ooh, new spells. Rep Repulus. Okay, let's try Let's see what Repulus does. Repulus. Void damage. Okay. Um. Nihi. I've got Nihi and Repulus. Let's try Nihi Not and see if that's like a multi-hit spell. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I would say that, like, what really impressed me, because, like, I was I was a person who thought for a long time that Square Enix re-releasing Final Fantasy VII would be simultaneously, like, an extraordinarily money-making venture. Like, they'd, they'd make a lot of money off of it, and at the same time, it would doom them as a company because there's no way that they could... Um, ever live up to the hype of a remake of FF7. But they kind of proved me wrong. That first game was really pretty good. Honestly, I was very impressed. Um, and uh, I just, I, I was so surprised that it was as good as it turned out to be. Now again, I didn't finish it. So, and I've heard that at the very end of it, it gets bad. Um, but not knowing what that means, um, I liked what I saw. But to answer answer your comment about um, playing the playing the original first, I think that you will appreciate the remake better with having played the original because you'll catch all of those things, all of those little like quality of life sorts of things uh, better if you played the original. So I do think it's good. Plus, the original's a good game. I mean, it's a fun, enjoyable game. I mean, I would say if you don't care about, like, catching references and, like, that sort of thing, you could probably... Smells like SNES. You know, I'm glad you're here, Pokey, because I remembered where I saw you before. You were in the Sonic 06 uh, playthrough. I remember now. And yes, it does smell like SNES, which means it smells lovely. <laughs> Welcome, Pokey. Alright, so now we gotta go north through the forest. The Great Forest, in fact. Oh, it's a tail dog. It's here. Look at it. It has a tail, which most dogs don't have, I guess. 92% of Sonic 06 budget went to the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I know you weren't a fan of Sonic 06. I liked it, though. I mean, I went into it with really low expectations, so that might be part of it, but... <laughs> I enjoyed myself. I found a way to have fun with it. Hello, mysterious object. It's a little visa. Nighy. Bra. Donk. Oh, that's cool looking. Loading screen simulator, December 25th. Okay, yeah. The loading screens are pretty darn bad. That is true. That is absolutely true. It is hard to defend those. That game had some pretty terrible loading screens in it. Oh, who's is this one for me? Nope. That's right, I don't have a jade yet. So that's not that like the the green I think the green actually I think the green one is for Serlin, but I just can't do it yet because I don't have the jade. Um But eventually I will be able to get that, I think. But I think it, I think blue is for Riza, green is for Serlin, and red is for Sion. So yeah. not there yet.
Also, we remember 2006 when the crappy port of Sonic 1 for the GBA came out. I did not know that, actually. There was a port of Sonic 1 on the GBA? I had no idea about that. Was it called, like, Sonic Advance? Hello, plant. It's a little visa. It's here. Killed it. Oh, it was called Sonic Genesis? Hmm. I don't remember that at all. Interesting. I have no recollection of a, uh, Port of Sonic 1 on a GBA. What made it crappy? You said it was a crappy port. Did it just not play well or something? Like, what was wrong with it? Playing this game for an hour? I had no idea. Purifier! Oh no! Bees! They're here! Dona! I always get Toe and Teo mixed up. Teo is the one for wind, Toe is the one for lightning. And I always think it's the other way around for some reason. Alright, well it's not. Nighttime. Piranha! Piranha! Hold on! Okay, not susceptible to lightning. I guess they're supposed to be lightning. I thought maybe they were supposed to be like water spirits, but yeah, it's probably supposed to be lightning. So if I remember correctly, in this game, the... There's like a... Wait, physics and music stink. Sonic physics feel like wa a water level two times worse. Music was absolutely butchered to make bad sounding entities. Not what it is. Speakers spit out heat. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I had no idea that that came out. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you this. So, you see down there where it says, like, uh, fire versus water, thunder versus wind, light versus dark? Those are those are the opposing elements. So, if I had used wind against those lightning monsters, it probably would have done a lot of damage. Okay. Aha! Horn bat. Blood suck. Cause I I remember these monsters are just running away as soon as you fought them. Oh, lightning monsters with an EMP. Yeah, that's fair. I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, that looks important. Get this book. Mantra Apprentice's Guidebook. Read from the beginning. Okay. Sure. Arcane Destruction Tiller. Lava Barrier Thor Solon. Fear of the Winds Molfo. Life's Divine Light and Megami. Oh, those are spells, I guess? Okay, well, let's put them in. Mega me. Okay, it's a everybody heal spell. Useful. Um, is it Tiller? I think. Annihilator. Oh. Okay. Let's try Molfo. Wind damage. And then was it Thor Solon? Also, the screen crunch was insane. You could barely see anything from me. You think Super Mario Brothers Ducks in the Game Boy Color? Ooh. That's not good. I remember when the first time I saw 
Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, and I was like, oh, this looks problematic. <laughs> Repulus. <laughs> I dropped a rock on it. <laughs> That's funny. Just dropped a meteor on its head. Is this not where I was supposed to be? I thought I was supposed to come here. There's treasure here. Horn water. More horn water. I'm gonna drop a, a rock on its head again. That was really funny to me. Bonk. <laughs> Silly. Have you ever played this game before, Pokey? Have you ever played and or even seen this game before? It's a good game. But unfortunately, we did not get it here in America. This is a reproduction. Deona! Oh, that reminds me. We gotta find we gotta figure out what, what uh, your name does, Pokey. Give me a sec. Pokey, your name results in a. Void damage. A very efficient void damage spell. Fun fact, the Genesis renders internally at a wider aspect region of the SNES, but for analog purposes, it's stretched out. So it's like, it's widescreen internal, but um, stretched vertically to 4x3. That's interesting. Alright, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I thought I was supposed to come here. I thought they wanted me to go to the mountain, but maybe not. Maybe I was supposed to talk to, uh, uh, Dr. Munk first? I'm not really sure. Now I will cast Pokey. Okay! <laughs> we just yell your name at the enemy! Congratulations, you are now a magic spell. Namely, we just yell your name at the enemy. Alright, I'm not supposed to be here. I thought I was supposed to go there. Squish to 4 by 3 is a bit wider. Oh, okay. I thought you meant that, like, it filled out the 4 side and then they stretched it to make the 3 side. But that's interesting. It's like how, um, I, I, I had no idea how, like, TVs worked for many years and, like, how, like, the, it projects, like, a very small image that is then magnified onto the screen. I didn't know how any of it worked. But it's pretty cool stuff. I don't know. Like, TVs and, like, photography, like, film and stuff, it's all... I don't know, it's all, it's all like, how did someone come up with this? And how they came up with it was that, like, a bunch of little discoveries led to the big discovery. But when you try and, like, think of, like, one person coming up with a television, it seems pretty amazing. Hello. <laughs> Also, many retro consoles before 2000 rendered in 240p, half of 480, to get a still progressive screen without matching up with the processor. Hmm. Interesting. You know quite a bit about uh about the uh the internals of the old old systems, Pokey. Is that something that you uh, have as like a hobby? Do you do you like uh, do work on old consoles or something? If so, that's cool. I definitely don't know anything about working on consoles or like repairing old systems or any of that. It's all beyond me. It's probably something I should know how to do, considering how long I've been playing video games and the fact that I've technically got a degree in computer science, but like. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so I don't know, I just play the games. I just play them, that's all I do. Alright, 
Now I kind of want to try to track down a copy of that uh, Sonic game. The best thing you did was change the HDMI 1 to HDMI 2 in your pants, dude. Well, there you go. That's that's complicated electrical engineering right there. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Dr. Muk. See if he knows what we're supposed to do. Actually, let's stay at the inn and then talk to Dr. Muk. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Onward! Hello, Doctor. Yep, this is what I was supposed to do. Doggone it. Ah, you've returned. What were you able to get out of Solon? There's another receptacle in Horn Cave. Horn Cave! Oh, I led an expedition there once. There's nothing there save rock and dust. The nighttime tides apparently open the path to the receptacle. If we're serious about continuing with the stone, we ought to check it out. Very well. Look into it then and be quick about it. Of course. <laughs> Mute? Look! Look! Open your windows! Come out! Hurry! You can't miss it! What? Oh, what's going on out there? I feel I have not the faintest idea. The window! Oh yeah? What's going on? Legging got confused. Hmm? Oh, this is probably the sky com uh, clearing. Yay! The butterflies are here! Hooray! The butterflies are here to save the world! Oh, the sky is now clear again! Hooray! Thank you, Riza. You've done us a great service. A swarm of butterflies? Doctor, what's all this about? This is really the first time I've ever seen anything like it. Butterflies have totally disappeared from the sky until now. My best guess is that they are a purifying device. That's a pretty out there guess. I thought the smog was impossible to clear. The pollution's been in place for over 2,000 years now. The technology to do so existed once upon a time. However, the knowledge was lost with the ages. And this cannot be a natural phenomenon. That leaves only one possible explanation. Biotechnology. Biotechnology. The science that acts on genes to create new forms of life. The same. The very same technology allegedly used to create the fabled Four Horsemen. Who is to say the same knowledge cannot have been used for good? So you're saying that those butterflies are artificial life forms? That they were specially created to purify our air? Without a doubt. I haven't seen it here before. Well, no matter. Off to Horn Cave with you. Hey. Right. All right. So, that uh, again, that's one of the things I like about this game is how you can kind of like figure out where the other party is based on what is happening in your game. So as I say, most of the reason why many newer TVs absolutely lose their marbles when an old console is connected as 240p isn't an official standard. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that. Thank you for sharing. I had no idea about any of that. Very interesting. Yay! Look how clean everything is now! The sky is clear and beautiful! The water still looks like crap, but the sky is clear! <laughs> Wonderful! Ah, and the world looks better. Hooray! Now we will go into the great forest and it looks glorious and green! And I will kill these Rayas. Prepare yourself, Raya. You know, seeing that little event where all the uh, butterflies did their thing makes me think of how, um, just recently, you know, uh, the, uh, there was that, what was it, what do they call it, solar storm or something like that? Where the, um, the northern lights were visible in, like, a much lower, uh, lower latitude than normal. And it was, it was cloudy that day for me. <laughs> I couldn't see any of it. I was really disappointed. I mean, the good news for me is that recently I got to see the, the eclipse. It wasn't cloudy for the eclipse, but I really wanted to see the northern lights. I was really disappointed about that. Oh, well, clouds got in the way. Normally I like clouds, but this one instance kind of made me good. Don't you hit me with your tail, tail dog? You deadly creature. Tail dog. 
These things look like they should be more dangerous than they are. Like, didn't they say you cast water on it? I'm gonna cast water on it this time. They said to cast water on plants. Oh yeah, you missed it too. I really wanted to see it, but yeah, there's just it was too cloudy where I was at. I, know. I guess I'll have to go to Alaska at some point in my life. The Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. There was a uh there was like a solar storm. Oh no, it's a it's a Balnapok. Oh the Balnapoks are here! Look at them, they're bird dogs? I think. I'm not sure what these things are. They're ball in the box, I guess. But yeah, there was like a... Um... Oh, you live in Jamaica? That's cool, though. <laughs> That's really neat. Um, yeah, there was like a... Uh... There was this thing that happened with the sun recently, like a week or so ago, where um, because of solar activity, it allowed the... Uh... The Aurora Borealis, like the Northern Lights, to show up um, much further south than normal. So, like, people in, like, like where I live, Virginia, or, like, I think even down in, like, Upper Alabama, um, you could see the Northern Lights, which is just really surreal for, like, one day. But it was cloudy where I live. So. Super bummer. She lived down in Jamaica. That seems like it would be nice. Except during hurricane season. <laughs> well, that would be a problem for everybody, <laughs> okay? That'd be a problem for the entire solar system if the sun just blew up randomly. You can see the northern lights. Ah, that's a bummer. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have been able to see them due to light, light pollution either, actually. So, just as well. It was a clear sky and you still couldn't see them? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they weren't as visible as I thought they were. I had heard that, like... Because, like... Oh, oh, something's happening. You've got to be kidding me. This rag's supposed to be an artifact? Appearances can be deceiving. This then would be the holy robe. Oh! This old rag holy! Meanwhile... Oh! Oh! Look, it's the thing. The Jade Sigil. The symbol is different. Does that mean there's a Lego stone hidden here? Hmm, looks like Danan's script. The great prophecies of... Uh, no, can't make out the rest of it. Sorry. I do not know you're familiar with ancient writings. <laughs> hey, my dad's a scholar, all right. I thought giving me a little more credit. He's a scholar? I thought he was a... I thought he was a shopkeeper. Well, I'll be it for me to deny it to you. But who wrote this? What possible reason could they have have had in coming to this place? I don't know. Oh, fighting things. Make a school for the most part. Just please, for the love of God, never step anywhere, put anywhere near Spanish Town. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Should I ever go to Jamaica? That's cool, though. It's it's really exciting to me to find out that like someone from another country is watching my uh stream. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. It's just incredible to, like, think about, like, um... Oh, oh, no, this is happening. Hello. Who the... You! Surprise! Sid? All right, peoples. Fork over the goods and nobody gets hurt. You really think we just hand it over to two-bit thieves like you? Thieves? Get it straight, weird... Uh... Punk busters? Treasure hunters, you dork... You dork chop! How many times do I have to tell you this? You, give us the treasure and we'll let you leave in one piece. Are you kidding? Give back the grail, you jumped up pickpockets. You want it? Come and get it. Fine by me. Ha! Ah, you prepare for crucifixion, yeah? <laughs> what was the say? Whoa, well, hold on, I was kidding. No need to get violent. We'll get the grail back fair and square. Boss? Well, come on, hurry up with it. It's not with us. We left it in the che in a chest here for safekeeping. Did you really find the holy robe? Can I see it before you go? Please? Boss, why are you smiling like that? Hmm. 
You've got no room to be making demands, you purse snatcher. He's right, yeah? We waste no time on these snake tongues. It means that much to you. Thank you. This is the holy robe. Oh, come on, Serlet. Of course they were going to steal it. Wow, thanks. By the way, we lied about the grail. No hard feelings, eh? Huh? You beg for the tasting of cold steel. Give it up. Catch you later, boys. Talk on it. You are right, Legan. They are nothing but lowest thieves, yeah? Now they've got two of the receptacles in their possession. Damn it! Should we give chase? Can you guys forget that I was just really easily outsmarted by them? Waste of time, they're long gone by now. We still lack a means of sealing off the Lego Stone's power. And we'll have to hope the third receptacle hasn't already been taken. Hmm. Alright, well that was great. <laughs> they stole two of them already. And then there's this room. Hey, Cyber. Even wilder when they're on the other side of the world and it's 3 a.m. for it. Yeah, like, um... Oh, I'm buying things. Sometimes when I'm watching, like, Brutal Moose's streams, um, some of the people will be like, oh, it's like 3 a.m. for me here. And I'm just like, oh, it's like 2 p.m. for me here. You know, it's always really amazing to find out that, like, there's such a huge variance. But I don't know. Amazing wonders of the internet. Is there just nothing in these side rooms? They're just here to be here, I guess. They're a bunch of horn bats. That's fun. Oh, hey, Cyber. How was Vegas? I guess you're in California now, huh? Hopefully you got there okay. Hopefully you played some Wangan Midnight at the uh, arcade. You're on the Pacific time now. How long are you going to be out there? Like, are you, are you visiting the uh, place where you used to live? Or what brings you out to um, California? If you want to share. If you don't, that's also fine. <laughs> ah, Bona Pox! They're here! Nahina! The only phone in 120 hertz feels smoother than real life. 60 hertz feels like negative 19 hertz. Please send help. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Fortunately for me, I have not gotten used to like 60, uh, like, or wait, 60 hertz versus, do you mean like, I thought you meant FPS. Spirit Airlines decided to delay so you spent the night at the airport. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, dude. I got all excited when you said that, like, you were in Vegas and there was an arcade. Because everywhere you go, you go to arcades. And I'm always jealous. In San Jose now, just left round one. Super cool. You're the arcadenest person I know, Cypher. It does if your GPU is powerful. Oh, wait, so were you referring to FPS or Hertz? I think I'm missing something. I, like, I, I thought that you were saying that, like, you had, like, 120 FPS. Um, but then you said Hertz, and now I'm confused. Um, but yeah, I remember the first time I saw, like, a 60 FPS YouTube video, and I was so confused because I didn't know why it looked different. Like, I had never heard of, like... 60 FPS, and I was like, why does this video look so strange? It's the same way I felt about, um, if you've ever played, uh, F-Zero X for the N64, that's a, a rare N64 game that runs at, uh, 60 FPS. And all I, all I knew at the time was, like, this game looks weird, but I don't know why. It just looks strange to me. 120 hertz screen, games, and UI run it. Oh, okay. So, basically the same thing. Got it. Okay. I didn't know that. But I can understand why that would be frustrating. <laughs> feels smoother than real life, and yet what is reg what is real life feels too slow. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just confused. Hey, the coolest pusher called Golden Railroad. What made it cool? I've gone it. Um, I guess I'll use one. Yay. I feel like I never really got into the vibe of pushers. Um, once you go 60 FPS, you never go back. <laughs> Probably so. Um, 
Like, pushers always just require too much investment for me to really enjoy them. I unless maybe I'm just not doing it right. Except for some stubborn games, Fortnite Mobile and Rocket League, side swipe, this means you <laughs> refuse to run anything higher than 60 FPS. So do you, do you do a lot of, like, mobile gaming then? I find that, like, I've never really gotten into mobile gaming. Which is a shame, because a lot of the game types that I like, like, old, like, basically the games that were released during, like, the Super Nintendo, for example, a lot of those show up on, like, cell phones nowadays. Because it's sort of a more constrained format. But I don't want to play a game on my cell phone, I want to play it on a TV. Cool board game mechanics. Wait, I've seen YouTube videos where they take VHS the control and spin it. Um, 30 FS for all this thing. Some videos know. Wait, so they like. They increase the FPS of a VHS tape? How does that work? I don't know enough about technology, I don't think. Cool board game mechanics is a choo choo drain that dumps turns on the blank, but that's some fun. I saw, um, I remember where I saw it. Somewhere on Discord, I saw someone, uh, showing off the, uh, the Castlevania uh, marble pusher. And it had these, like, nice cards that would come out with, like, various Castlevania series characters on it. It looked cool. I'm a sucker for anything Castlevania, though. I love that series. Clan pushers are fun and terrifyingly addictive play. Yeah. The remastered versions of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 are only on mobile. The remastered versions of Sonic 1 and 2? Really? Remastered Sonic 1 and 2. Oops, something's happening. Meanwhile, this is happening. Yes? But, y yep, there he goes. Bye, bye! I don't... I don't know what that was about. Hey, you! Did you see two dolls carrying a child come by just now? I saw something, but I'm not sure that was what it was. Did those things look like dolls to you, Mr. Serland? Well... Answer me, or on your league with those wicked things. D don't be stupid, it's me, Legan, Dr. Kostagi's son. Oh, Legan, forgive us. You have to help us. They kidnapped that child. How could a pair of dolls do that? It's the Rotor Cult. They've been using those dolls to spirit our children away one by one. Please, sir, save our children. All right, kill it. Tell us where they went and we'll investigate. Let us first confer with Dr. Mew. There will be time to investigate afterwards. I don't know who's talking. Okay, see y'all later. Let's see. Hang on. I gotta read things. Nintendo VHS has a frame rate of 29.97, interlace frames per second, 59.94 right, fields per second. Basically, through a process called deinterlacing, you can turn a 59.94 field per second into a 60 FPS progressive video. Huh. Interesting. Love home restrictions from the 1950s stick around for decades. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, Jimmy. I've never heard of that. I Well, no, let me, let me amend that. I think I have heard of de-interlacing, but I didn't know that that was what it was for. Interesting. Y'all know so much. I'm learning all kinds of, kinds of things in this, this stream. I'm just playing a game and y'all dropping all these cool technology facts. Well... Very successful. N no, the thieves struck again. What? I don't believe this. Forgive us, Doctor. We underestimated them. Oi. First the grail, now the robe. These aren't, your, aren't just your garden variety thieves, then. I'm afraid something else has come up in the meantime. We're supposed to be investigating a kidnapping carried out by dolls? Since the rumors were true, huh? Rumors. Hmm. Stories of children disappearing in broad daylight around here. The usual credulous nonsense perpetrated by the perfect boogeyman. The ever mysterious Rudra cult. What do they want with the children? I generally don't make a habit of guessing at that sort of thing. The standard end of the world cult is hardly a bastion of reason. Meanwhile. Oh, hello. Legan, they stole a boat from the docks. A boat? I wonder where they could be going. Hmm. Oh, of course, the ruins of Fall. Fall? 
But Farrell is a small island located west of Ab Abdol. It's about the only place secluded enough to house the cult's activities. I would advise you to take a boat to Ompros and proceed from there. I must return to Abdol in the meantime. Alright, we'll head out on the next boat then. Thank you so much. Don't tally. We still have much to do in Abdol. Alright, bye. See you later. Um, TV, TV actually already has a deinstallator already? Oh. Hmm. All kinds of interesting facts y'all dropping. Alright, so now we got to go to Ompros, which is the place in the middle of the world. But first, I might have some money. I've got some money. Let me see if I can buy some, some armor. Let's see. Are you... Okay, he's got Dennis armor on. Armor of Dennis. He's protected from Dennis's. Very important. Buy a Lemnos mail. Yes. I've gone it. Should have used the equipment in the menu. Da, 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 da. Cool. Okay. I believe Sork's weapon is two-handed, so that's not going to work for him. Yeah, I think it's two-handed. So I think iOS finally allowed emulators on this app store and everyone is losing their minds and it's trending. Meanwhile, Android users have been using them for over a decade. Yep. Sounds about right. <laughs> I remember some of those, like, uh weird workaround apps where like it appeared to be one thing and then you would uh oh i remember this this happened in the last stream of this oh there you are did you find anything suspicious in horn cave what something perhaps related to the prophecies of the danans what what are they what's wrong with you give these two people a straight answer the doctor is right you're being far too evasive but yeah we found an inscription mentioning the prophecies. The prophecies? And this was in Horn Cave, you said? Indeed. Got it. We'll be on our way then. Not so fast. You may also want to travel to the western continent and speak to King Crayu. I seem to recall that your mom, mom, mother had a number of dealings with him. Crayu Castle? Would they know where she is now? Perhaps. There's much to learn on the western continent. It's like, thank you, Doctor. Bye bye. So that was the protagonist of the last stream of this we did. I trust you saw her forehead. Risa has borne that jade since birth. Are we talking about the same jewels the Rudras wear? Precisely. What did she want of you, Doc? Want of you, Doctor? Risa searches for her parents. You knew them? Only her mother. We uh worked together some time ago. What was with that little pause just now? I suspect the good doctor would prefer not to tell us everything. Alright. I gotta go to Ompros. Loading dock. Um, which one leads me to Ompros? Are you Ompros? Yeah, there we go. Aye aye. <laughs> I don't think those people have ever heard of using a PC for emulation. Days are just flying by for Serlant. I think we've only got like 12 days left to the Cataclysm at this point. We'll need to find a way to get to fall. Alright. Talk to people. Hello. Um, I guess we're not going to Oriab today. Hello. I'm afraid we're not currently offering connections to Oriab. I've always loved this town. It's my home. You can get a boat to Danel for Oriab from here. Why are you just staring at the clock? This clock isn't working. It seems to be broken. Okay. Hello. What? You're looking to buy a boat? I don't have any. Sorry. Go see Nurk. He deals with that kind of thing. Nurk? Go see Nurk! Thank you. 
This song is kind of cool. Oh, this is the same thing. Okay. I don't care about that. Here it is. Shut up. Shut up. Hello. It's crucial to remember every mantra you come across in your travels. Also experiment with combining multiple incantations. For example, for instance, Aquilus is made up of Aku and Lus. I know. Thank you, though. Are you headed to Nurk's place? I'm just coming back for them myself. Where is it? Head for the southwest end of town. You can't miss it. Okay. I'm gonna talk to people first. Hello. I'm gonna take your stuff. I got a journal. I'm meeting with Nurk. Encountered a strange cloaked man while waiting for the boat to Ompros. I was trying to conversation, but when he was he was gone when I turned back. Okay. Stop being a real job. I once again saw the mysterious stranger appear to be selling goods. Okay. Hello. You're looking for Nurk's place. It's in the southern end of town, but Nurk isn't always around. Sometimes merchants come to this town to pay their respects to Nurk. But they're buying off of him as anybody's guest, though. Come to think of it, we've had a lot of young people at Nurk's lately, too. This is the town of, like, old people and... Oh, hello. Uh, uh, use monsters against the monsters. Run by. The Genesis is the last home console with real chiptune music? What does that mean, exactly? Like, what makes it real or not real? Like, I don't know enough about chiptune to really know what the difference would be there. Um, actually, I'm okay. Thanks a lot! Sure, see you later. Glad to help. All right, southwest side of town is maybe that building down there. How do I get there? Wait, no. It said southwest section of town. Sounds that are hardware generated on the spot, pretty much. On the SNES, all the instruments are PCM samples. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Even more interesting facts from Pokey. How do I get down there? Hang on, how do I get down there? Oh, here we go. There's a man down there. Oh, something's happening. Are you Nurk? If you wish to trade, you'll have to wait inside. Do you know an old man named Romleth? Indeed I do. He has gone to the ruins of Tula. Very well. Where are those ruins? You'll, you'll find them at the summit of Mount Delphi, Delphi, north of here. Excuse me, sir. We have need of your boat. Oh, customers. I hope you'll spend the spending type. Come in, come in. Oh, he just floats. Okay. Hello. Think your boat can take us to the ruins of fall, Mr. Merchant? Once upon a time I would have been sure of it, but nowadays the ocean is hardly the safest means of traveling. Navigating those polluted waters is no mean feat even for even experienced sailors. Oh, there, there goes that guy. We'll, we will have to take that risk then. Why do you wish to travel to fall? We're looking for a kidnapped child. We believe he may have been taken there. Then use my boat by all means. It's moored outside the shop. We owe you one. Come on, Mr. Cernan, let's hurry. All right, bye. So th those people that we just encountered are actually the the one remaining party that we have not played yet. That's Scion's party. Well, we are taking this canoe, I guess, down to... uh. The Ruins of Fall, which is really far away, frankly. <laughs> oh, this song again. I like this song. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? It's creepy looking. 
it's cool looking too. I think it's creepy cool. I like it. Oh, Igmel! Okay, that's a fire spell. Hades Bomber. We haven't gotten any fire spells yet. Nice! I'm gonna write that down immediately. Igmel. Alright, inscribe. Ig. No. Yeah! I got a fire spell now! Awesome! Oh, is, I can just save out here, I guess? Okay. Super good! Nice. It's Leon! Hello, Leon! Dona! Pragmatic. Okay. What are your thoughts on Teona? Like, one of my favorite things about this game is how all of these sprites for, like, the in battle are, like, moving around and stuff. It's, like, a little thing, but it really makes the, uh, makes everything more interesting to watch. Left now. clear to me when I first played this game, but what the game refers to as void damage, it's supposed to be, like, void in the sense of, like, the void of space. So it's, like, space damage would be a better way to describe it. So, like, all the void stuff is related to, like, space and such. I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's something I didn't pick up on when I played the game the first time. Nahina! Leon Whip. That Fragmatic spell is nothing to joke about. Pretty strong. Oh, nice. Healing water. Yay. Spin around. Hooray. So, is that, um, I'm still thinking about the PCM, like, the sound stuff. Is that why certain games are described as having a sound font? It's the collection of, like, samples used for the music in that game? Is that how that works? I haven't used this yet. Tiller. Tiller! Oh! Oh, it's a remove spell. That's not helpful. I don't really like remove spells in games. I wonder if that did that for everywhere in the uh, place. Because, like, I know that um, there's a song on the uh, Undertale soundtrack called... Um, the song is called A Song That Might Play When You Fight Sans. Um, I don't think it actually plays anywhere in the game, but it was on the soundtrack. 
And um, I seem to recall reading that it was made using the... Oh, no, these didn't go down. Oh, go ahead. It was made using the sound font for Mega Man X3. And if you listen to it, and you're familiar with the music from Mega Man X3, you can definitely hear a similarity. Um, is that, like, a thing? You never finished Undertale, but the music was great. I, I have kind of a bit of a hang-up about Undertale. Um, I mean, it's certainly an impressive game, to be sure. And especially considering it was made by, I think, just one person, basically. Um, and it was kind of a cultural phenomenon. I respect it, but... I still have hang-ups about it. But the music was very good. I once heard someone describe it as the best soundtrack, or best game soundtrack ever. I don't know that I'd agree with that, but it was a very good soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, it's got issues. I, th I think that's, the, that's one of the things about it, was that it was very polarizing. People that liked it really, really, really liked it. Did I ever play Deltarune? No. I saw a little bit of Deltarune, but it didn't appeal to me the same way. Like, I think the most interesting thing for me about Undertale was the, like, monsters that you encountered. I think that there was an incredible amount of like, diversity and imagination to, like, the various monsters you encounter. I liked that part. Um, again, I had hang-ups about other things in the game, but... Fallstone. Is that something I equip? It is. A fiery rock from deep within fall. Okay. Um, it raises your magic defense. You have the worst match, so I'll increase your... I like this song a lot. Bunch of monsters. Okay. Um, Aquabelle. And... Uh, Morph. We haven't tried... Well... I mean, it is absolutely impressive, though, like, what Toby Fox accomplished, and, like, uh, just the idea of making a game, man. I want to make a game. I don't have the follow-through for it. You know? It's like, it takes a lot of work. It takes years off your life. It's, it's not easy to make a game, especially a good game. So, I don't know. It's admirable. It's absolutely admirable, but... It's a shame, too, is I've got, like, plenty of ideas for games, but I just don't have the follow-through, you know? Real shame. Constantly coming up with, like, fun game ideas, but, like, I need... Ba I basically need a completely funded and dedicated team of professionals to make my, make my dreams a reality. I just... I just need a production team that is completely funded, and, you know, they, they do it on their own, and I could just be the idea guy. That's what I need. <laughs> oh, crap. Sork's dead. Ah, fudge. Um, Animus. Animus? Where is it? Animus. You want to mess around with Pico 8? I don't know what Pico 8 is. Talk to me about that in the Discord, though. I'd be happy to talk. I, I'd be happy to lend some of the ideas if you're interested in trying to move forward with them. Because I got plenty of them, and I'd love to see them exist. <laughs> so I'd love to see see any of these ideas exist as a real game. But like, I was trying to, um, or what I what I had wanted to work with was, um, uh, what's it called? Um. Godot. I had heard that Godot is a good uh, means to make like pixel games, which is probably what I would want to make. Um. Oh, look at these little guys. They're cute. Look how cute they are. I'm gonna light them on fire. They look like they burn pretty well. Um. 
but then I just haven't done it. I mean, the, o the only time I've tried to make a game is I, I used a program called uh, Click Team Fusion for a little while, and I made some, like, really simple games, but, like, nothing, nothing that impressive. I don't know. There's a man up there! And children, you! So you're the one behind the kidnappings? Huh? Kidnapping? These children are here for the good of their world. Save it, it's the end of the line for you. Rats now. The cult does not have time to waste on simple things like you. What are you doing with the children here? Tell us! The cult will not be out of realm by the likes of you. Thou shall be your grave, and in death you will rise again to serve us. You say that again? To my sword! Oh no! Little things. <laughs> you can no longer escape. Face your fate. Okay. So they were using fire before, so I'm going to guess. Oh, I don't have Igreem. Uh, I do have Prowreem, though. Oh, so good. So one of the coolest things about playing as Serlin is his boss battle music is really good. Yeah, but you do have Igna. Ah, fudge. I wish I could set up a, um... I wish I could set up the, uh... Barrier against, like, like... I, 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 I wish you could inscribe mantras during battle, but you can't. You have to do it before battle. Which is a little bit annoying. Alright, so Ig, I guess, is the... Particle for fire. That's useful now. Because we've got Igmel and he's using Ignan. They're both fire, so I'm assuming that that's the case. Her staff! For Salon! More Ig! Ooh, more Ig! Okay. Y'all help me remember these spells that we see in boss battles, so I can inscribe them afterward. More Ig! I didn't get any MP from that. Oh, go on. We water. I'm very curious about Pico 8 now. What is that hot dog? Like, what... What kind of a production? I, I'm assuming you're talking about a, a game production engine. Uh, what is it? How does it work? What does it work on? What is it? 3D, 2D? What's it like? Tell me more about. It. I don't. Know. Oh, he's turning red. Good. Um. I'm gonna yell Pokey's name at it. Why? Why Igna? Oh. So we've learned mo more Ig and why Igna. Okay, you're out of it. Igna. This guy's pants too. He's got those like Aladdin pants on. The ones where like the 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 um inseam is like super low. I like those pants. They look comfortable. Got him. Nice. We have saved the children. Hooray! Strength. Who are you? Maybe you should have asked that before we were first to beat you down. 
don't think you run. The sun will vanish, and the Rudra will leave anew. The world shall perish in its divine name. <laughs> Is he talking about resurrecting the Rudra? How stupid can you get? Button. I saved the children. One of them is brightly colored. We have come to take you back. Carefully proceed to the exit. Our boat is waiting for you there. Yay! I've saved the children. What about you, little bard child? Where am I? Hello. What's wrong? Did you lose something? Who are you? How did you get here? I am... me? Could you be more precise? What is your name? My name? My name? It's Lolo. Alright, Lolo. We're gonna get you to out of here. Is there anything you still need to do here? No, sir. I'm Legan. These two are Mr. Serlent and Sork. Bye-bye. See you later. Is it amnesia? Without a doubt. Will he recover his memory? Perhaps. Another strong shock may be required first. This is the doing of the Rudra cult, yeah? Wait, what's with the sword? Mr. Serlant saying strong's shocked to help the boy remember again, yeah? Are you crazy? Cut that out! Just help me, yeah? Oh, you're insane, aren't you? Pico 8 is an artificially limited game engine. From Wiki is a fancy video game console. It looks limited graphical and sound capabilities to keep its systems. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's talk about that later. That sounds really interesting. Because I think 8 or 16-bit would probably be about the visual quality that I'd be going for in, in terms of, like, if I was going to make a game. Um. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we learned some new spells. Let me rip Pokey. Sorry, Pokey. Um, so was it Wa Igna? No. Yeah, fire damage all. Awesome. Um, and then, was it Morig, I think? Morig? Yeah! Oh, it's expensive, though. Hmm. Let's try some... I'll try... Wa... Watona. Watona? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Hmm, okay, so we get stronger spells now. Great! See, it, it's fun. You, like, learn new parts of spells, and you put them together to make cool new spells, and it's, it's fun for me, okay? It's just, it's fun for me. <laughs> I really like it. Oh, shoot, we're, up, we're almost up against time. Probably once we get out of here, that'll, that'll be it for Sterling tonight. Once again, I hope y'all are enjoying this. I think this game's awesome. And I wish I had the option. Oh, these still didn't come down? Oh, gone it. How am I supposed to get these? Oh, there's a switch right over there. I missed it the first time it came in. Here's a switch. Derp. There we go. All right, what you got for me, Treasure Chest? Money. Oh, this, this. Uh... Absorption of your enemy's strength. That sounds good. Sella? Okay. Um. Look, I'm running out of space. Uh, let's try Stella. Absorbs HP. Okay. Cool. Got it. I guess I could put Igreen here. See, this is one of the things I don't really like about this game, is that, like, since you do have the limited uh, spell inventory, like, once you start learning things like defensive spells, you kind of want to keep those around, but you also have to have space for other stuff, so it's, it really forces you to, like, mix and match and try to decide, like, what's best for the particular time that you're playing. I don't know. It's not my favorite, but... Are all of you on board? <laughs> Yay! All right, then. What now? Let's head back to Abdal. Dr. Milk will be waiting for us. Very well.
Wait. Are we not bringing the children back to where they live? We're not going back to, uh... Um, Ampros? We're just going to Oria to Abdal instead? That's a little silly. I feel like we should have brought the children back to where they're from. Not somewhere else. Oh, the Lego Stone Lab. Cool. Hello? What did you find? Big surprise. The cult was behind the kidnappings after all. We will need to get the children back to Oriop now. I trust Legan will be able to take care of them on the, on the way there. I'll send Miemel along with you. Miemel! Oh, hello. What is it, Dr. M oh, Legan, it's good to see you again. I see you've made some new friends. Sork and Serlin are disciples of the Prophet Solon. The kid's a little low. So Uncle finally kicked you out of the house, did he? Oh, are you, uh, I don't know how old you're supposed to be. I kicked myself out, thank you. That old coot's been unbearable lately. Anyway, we need your help. We saved a group of kids from the road recall today. They'll need an escort until they get back to Oriab. I'm sure you and Megan will be more than capable of handling it. Sure thing. J just the two of us? I I'm not so sure. Uh, what about you, Mr. Serlin? Ar aren't you coming along? I'm afraid I must stay here and assist Dr. Mew with the stone. I go and talk to Solon, yeah? Maybe find a way to get Lolo's memory back without a sword, yeah? My apologies, Legan, but that leaves you with the short straw. Oh, there they go. Oh, I can move. Hello. The eclipse will end. Right. The eclipse will end soon. I'd recommend you make your way to the second floor to see it. Okay, sure. That sounds like fun. Hello. The eclipse is due to start soon. This will be the first time I've borne witness of such an event. You're in luck then. Since the smog lifted, we should have an unrivaled view of the whole event. I admit I feel a measure of unease. They do say eclipses are the forebears of ill tidings. Don't worry, it's just a perfectly natural phenomenon. Serlin, it's starting! The eclipse. Guys, don't look directly into a solar eclipse. What did I tell you? Not a th uh Something's happening. Yeah! That came from below. Oh no, danger. Where, where did it where did it come from? Did I miss something? Oh, there's a button there. Okay. What's going on here? Why are there skulls? Oh no, Dr. Milk! Do Doctor? Dr. Milk! Sir Erland, <coughs> I, I fear I'm not long for this world. Calm yourself, what happened? I was working on this inscriptions when this eclipse started. Before I knew what was happening, the <coughs> storm began to <coughs> emit a pale light. Light? What manner of light? The jade. The wear of the Rudra. <coughs> Doctor! Doctor! Oh no, he's dead! Oh snap! Oh snap, it's coming to life! Uh, hey! Reptile. That must be the Rudra the doctor warned me of. Hold! Why do you live? D did you kill the doctor? There is no need for that. You have already fulfilled your purpose. The cataclysm you speak of was completed 12,000 years ago. Wait! Such power! 
Oh no! Serlent's dead? Oh. Wait. Am I dead? I'm dead now. Hang on, I'm dead now. Where is this? Oh wait, can y'all even see me? Oh, y'all can't see me. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, shoot. Um. Okay, so I don't think y'all can see him. <laughs> on the capture. Oh, that's a problem. So I'm, it's doing that flickering thing, the transparency thing that a lot of games did. Um, <laughs> you'll just have to trust me that Serlin's here. <laughs> Oh, now everyone is that way. There's a man over there. I'm talking to a guy now. <laughs> hmm. Say, you there. You must be new here. Welcome to Limbo. Who are you? Oh, it's Kurgan. I forgot what his voice was already. But I still drew breath. I was known as Mayor Kurgan of Babel. Am I truly dead? I'm afraid so. It'll take some time for the initial shock to wear off. There must be some mistake. My master foresaw nothing of this. Death's the destiny of all flesh, I'm afraid. However, there may be an exception for you. Truly. Lay a hand on your forehead. Notice anything? A, a jewel? Was this the jade the Rudra spoke of? The same jewel it failed, failed me to protect. Whatever the case may be, it's now part of your own body. My body? It must have passed into me when the root was struck. But why? That's a question I can't answer, I'm afraid. What matters is that that little... jewel may be able to revive you. How may this, this be accomplished? There's a place known as the Museum of Magic here in Limbo. What need do the dead have of a museum? Limbo divides the land of the living from the netherworld. The shades of the restless and wandering dead are often stranded here. Shades like you and I denied their final reward. Other races have also fled into Limbo for eons, escaping the cataclysm. This far underground, the Rudra's wrath has lit precious little impact. Fascinating. In other words, the underworld is literally underneath the world in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what's happening, Jimmy. Sorry about that. Maybe maybe we'll have to stream this in 60 FPS. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Fascinating. Let's return to the matter at hand. Among its exhibits, the museum also displays the genuine Lego stone. You're familiar with them, yes? I've already seen two of them in the past. Of the giants and of the reptiles. This will be the third such stone I have encountered. This one will be of particular interest to you, then. Will you come? Of course. I have little else to do. There he goes. All right, so he just walked away. All right, so I'm dead. <laughs> um, hello. Well, that's where we're gonna leave it off tonight. Uh, Serlin's dead, <laughs> so his life has taken a strange turn. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I, I stream in 30 uh, cyber because it usually makes it more stable. But I guess next time we try this, I can try doing 60 to see if it works better. But I wasn't expecting this. I apologize. Um, we'll try to figure this out for the next one. But again, I hope y'all are enjoying it. It's like a cool game and it, like the interleaving storylines and all that. It's a good time. But we will probably try out uh, Captain Toad on Thursday. So I hope we come back for that. I am the Lord Dragon. This has been Legacy of the Rudra, and thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.